about your about your questions. Can you repeat, please? We have six minutes to do an exercise. Exercises. Um, I don't know where in the platform. Can you yes, explain me again, please? Yeah, sure, Miss uh, Barone, right? Um, well, you are going to go to the platform. I mean, the, the, the web page of English Corporativo, okay? You must log in there, and, and you're going to go to the, to the name of this course that is um, Pre-Intermediate uh, Level 1, okay? There, you're going to find the Section 1. In the section one, you're going to click uh, there, okay? And you are going to find a, a list of different topics. Um, the first one is related to the objective or lesson objective. And the second one uh, is related to the topic, where are you from? Then you are going to find some exercises related to that topic. This is the first exercise. Later on, you are going to work on the exercise the, that are related to the topic uh, using the verb be with simple present tense. That's the, the, the next exercise. Those are the exercises that we're going to develop. I'm saying just six minutes because uh, maybe many of you already solved it, but if you haven't, uh, you can do it um, during this, this time. Uh, and if you haven't finished, I will give you more time, okay? Don't worry. Um, so uh, did, did I clarify your question? Uh, did I answer I your question? That, uh... Yes, yes, okay. I have a, I have a question more. We are going to do right now. Yes. What are we going to do right we now? We do the exercise. We must, yes. yes, we must complete the exercise. Yes, complete, we uh, complete the exercise right now when we work at the platform. Uh, when are we going to work? Miss? Hello? Hello? Hello, teacher. Okay. I, I yes. didn't understand I, your I, question. Okay, let me try to explain, right? I, I, I don't know, I, entry. Okay. Can I uh, see the link and I work that exercises, right? Of, um, about uh, the verb to be in the present tense. After that, I complete the exercise, right? You already, you already did those exercises. I mean, you already complete those exercises. Yeah, I complete that exercise. You already exercise. Saw it. After okay, that. Me. Miss, if you solve it, it's not necessary to complete it again. Okay, if you solve it before, you just take a look of it. You don't have to solve anything if you already solve it, right? Uh, but if you haven't, you, you must try to solve it. And uh, if you have any questions um, about those exercises, you can ask me. Uh, Miss, let me see. Okay. Teacher, uh, we complete the lesson, no, the section 1.4. Yes. 
is statements with be possessive adjectives. Okay. Is this lesson or other lesson? Uh, yes, the lesson yes. that you are going to complete is related to the topic, where are you from? And also the topic that is um, using uh, the verb be with simple present tense. Yeah, I, I Later, understand that. Okay, okay. But what is the lesson? The one lesson. Point seven is the other. Yeah. One that's point a, seven. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. I complete that. <laughs> okay, thank you. You already did. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. If you if you did it if you did I mean if you solved those exercises you don't have to. Uh, complete it again okay don't worry okay thank you uh, i finished the, the the section number one oh, amazing amazing that's good okay okay thank so you. something that i have to tell you uh, is that uh, you can work on the exercises in the uh, as your own reading okay that's mean that if you uh, want to complete the whole exercises um in a week or two weeks if you want to spend a lot of time working on it you can do it section one of the platform right um if someone is give, give me a second uh, let me just mute someone that was playing an audio i can find it well um well i was I was telling you that if you, you can go in your own rhythm uh, and you can solve all the exercises if you want, all the sections if you want, and, and that could be amazing. Um, but the thing here is that after you finish all those exercises, you can be reinforcing all those topics uh, during these this video conferences, okay? So, um, if you find any uh, situation, any um, mistake, or if you find um, something that, that, that you want to ask me uh, about the section four, the section five, that are the last ones, uh, you can do it during this video conference. Um, also, if uh, well, you can ask me using the, the WhatsApp group, that is the other uh, method of communications that we had for this course. And um, well, I will try to solve it as soon as possible if you do it using the WhatsApp group. But if you do it using the, the, the video conference, I will take around 10 minutes or, or the time that it can be necessary in order to um, explain what are the things that you want to solve. And, and don't worry if, if you go, if you are I mean, if you are in section uh, five, four, or section three. If you find something that you want to ask, or if you want, if you find something that I, you want me to clarify to you, uh, you can do it, and, and and don't feel afraid about it, because I will be answering you, and uh, using this these spaces in in the video conferences, and uh, using also the WhatsApp group if it is necessary. Okay, so that that's the information that I have to give to you guys about the platform do you have any question no teacher i finish you already finish okay sir well we're going to wait to the rest uh i'm going to give you just one more minute and if you already finish just please send um the letter the letter h to the um, 
chat of this video conference in order to know uh, that you already did it, that you already saw it. Just send the letter A. I'm finished, teacher. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Miss uh, Garcia. Can you repeat, please, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, amazing. So um, we're going to wait just uh, well, 30 second word. And then I'm going to be asking you about those exercises, okay? Yeah. Very good. Excuse me, teacher, I have one question uh, about something else. Uh, will this model have a manual on our platform? You mean, sorry, I didn't understand. Oh, will this model have a manual on our platform? Okay, okay. Uh, you mean like a, like a guide or, or uh, like a book? Um, well, in this course, we won't use uh, books and we won't use manual um, because all the things that you have to solve are in the platform. Okay, you have to follow all those topics. Um, and, and also, um, you have to be attending just the video conference and, and that's all. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that in order to get the diploma, um, you must complete at least the 80% of the, of the exercises. Okay, uh, at least the 80%, if you, if you uh, wants to solve more than that, it, it's okay for you because you're going to, to have a, a better grade. But uh, in this case, the, the homeworks that you must solve are the exercises that we're going to find in the list that we have there, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Is... Uh, uh, well, there is another question here. Is there any other question? Excuse me, teacher. I have I have one question more. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Will we have a class tomorrow? No, we won't have classes tomorrow. Um, because the video conference will be. It just developed uh, between Monday to Thursday, okay? Thursday. That's mean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday. Four dates uh, during a week, okay? So okay. Uh, that's mean that tomorrow, that is Friday, we won't have classes till okay. this coming Monday. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, so any other question, guys? Do you have any other question? No, teacher, no. No, no, no. okay. No. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Okay, amazing. Well, guys, um, I'm going to ask questions about these exercises. Um, the number one, when, um, when we use, when we use um, the phrases or, or the words like, um, Salvadoran, like Mexican, like American, uh, like Spanish, or like English. Uh, we use it for, the, well, I'm going to give you two options. Uh, we use it for uh, countries or nationalities? Nationalities. Nationalities, yes, that's yeah. correct. Thank you, Miss uh, Garcia. Second question, okay. In order to um, 
in order to create a sentence um, in an affirmative way, what we must include in this type of sentence? Using, uh, of course, the simple present tense. What we must include? What are the, the, the elements that we must include in this type of sentence? A subject, subject. Okay. a verb, verb. A complement. complement. Amazing, okay, amazing. That's, that's right. We use subjects, verb, and complement. And what is the other name uh, that we use for complement? What is the other name that we use for complement? In sentence negative. Okay. In the case of complements, in the case of complements, um, it, it can be called sometimes the object of the sentence. Okay. Um, we can say like uh, subject plus verb plus complement, or we can say uh, like subject plus verb plus an object. Okay, so we can use it in, in, in those things, in, in both means the same, okay? Um, well, in the case of the sentences using negative form, um, what are the elements that we must include? Not Anyone who wants do. to participate? I do or that. Okay, Miss Goches. Yes, and subject, and verb, and complement. Uh, can you repeat it again, please? Uh, Lausier verb, do or does. In uh, this case, I'm asking about the uh, negative form. The ah, negative, net. and, and no, um, I'll don't, uh, and no. Don't or doesn't. Okay. Is there a um, sub, no. uh, subject, uh, dot or not doesn't, verb, verb. and complement? Okay, amazing. But in this case, because we're using the verb to be, um, we won't use the auxiliary do or does for the negative form. Why? because we already include in this type of sentence, like using the form of the verb to be. Uh, for instance, um, guys, if I say, I am not a teacher, that's a simple present tense using uh, the verb to be, okay? Plus the negative form. I don't know if this, this uh, part is clear because, um, the topic that we're developing is using verb to be, okay, in simple present tense. And in this case, just in this case, that you, you that we use the simple present, I mean, the, the, the verb to be in simple present tense, we include just the, the form of the verb to be. What are the forms of the verb to be? Am, is, and are. Okay, um, in, if I use uh, one example for, for each one, I can say, I am not a teacher, okay? He is not a musician, okay? Or, um, well, they are not uh, technicians, for instance. If you notice there, we won't use, we don't use, I mean, the, um, expression don't or doesn't because we use it with different verbs. Auxiliary verb teacher is used only to answer. We, we use different verbs. Uh, there are no the verb to be. We use do or does. It's correct to say in that way because in the case of simple present tense, if we use uh, don't or doesn't in negative form, is correct to use it, but we must include a different verb that is now the verb to be. Like for instance, if I say, I don't work, or um, she doesn't um, uh, speak uh, Spanish. 
In that case, it's correct. But if we use the verb to be, uh, we don't have to use the auxiliary don't or doesn't. In this case, I'm going to say, I am not or a she is not or they are not in, in that way. Okay, is it clear? thank you. Yes, ah, thank okay. you. Amazing. So um, do you have any other question about, about it? No? So no. then I'm going, to, I'm going to ask you, what happened in the case of the, um, the question form? Okay, what happened there? Um, in this case, we must use the auxiliary, the auxiliary verb, in this case, do or does it, okay? Um, in, in this part, we can use the same uh, structure um, as we do in the simple, uh, I mean, in the uh, affirmative form of the simple present tense, just changing the uh, subject, okay, and the verb, if I use the verb to be, but if I don't use it, I have to use the auxiliary do or doesn't. For instance, if I say, uh, do you speak Spanish? Okay, that's an uh, interrogative form in simple present tense. But if I say, are you an American? Okay, that is the structure of, sent of questions form uh, using the verb to be. So uh, I can change it the same as am um, I, is she, or are we, or are they, okay? The, those are just examples of it. Um, well, in the case of, uh, guys, um, the words that are not, the word to be, uh, I, I repeat it again, we will use, the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. Is it clear what I'm saying? Can you give an example for the last one? For the last one, okay. Do you speak Spanish? Do you uh, work on, um, on a museum? Uh, or for instance, uh, do you play guitar? Does she uh, study uh, Chinese? Okay, thank you. So in this case, we, we, we use do or doesn't. Those are just examples of, of it. Okay. Teacher. Okay, any other I question? Have, I have a question, teacher. So, go ahead, sir. Tell me. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. In, in the third person, in sentence, affirmative sentence, or present sentence, in, when in third person, when you when we using the verb, in, in other in verbs, change, um, a little, a little, a change a uh, vocal, a vowel sound. Vowels, when you, you end or termination is in, in Y. You mean the in, the, in affirmative? Yeah, in affirmative. In affirmative. In, okay, in, go ahead. Affirmative sentence. Mm. In third person. Yes, um, in those cases, we have to be careful um, how we use the words. Because yeah. in simple present tense, in affirmative form, um, we have to add the letter S um, at the end of, of the words in order to create a word 
uh, for using third person. Um, in this case, if I say work, in third person, I'm going to say works, okay, works. Um, if I say uh, speak, in third person, I'm going to say speaks, okay, okay. okay? with S at the end. Oh, yes, yes. Um, so this change happened just only if we use third person. In this case, we if we use he, if we use she, or if we use it. That's the only thing. We have to check out, uh, I mean, uh, take a look of the rules that, that, that are uh, for these uses of, of the third person verbs. Because sometimes we're going to add just the, the letter S, but there are a certain type of verbs that we're going to add the ES okay. in, in, in in, in this type of, of, of verbs. Uh, and we're going to take a look of it. And I will try to do it um, this coming Monday. I, I will give you um, uh, some rules about it. We're going to discuss that a little bit more. And uh, also, um, we're going to see how we can use uh, the possessive pronouns used in this type of sentence, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, is anyone else that have a question? No. No more question. No more questions. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So I'm going to ask you uh, just the two last questions. Um, can you tell me um, what is the structure that we must use in order to answer the uh, interrogative sentences? The yes or no question, teacher. Exactly, yes. We're going to answer using the, uh, using the yes or not questions form. And what is the, the, the structure of it? What we have to include there? The structure or an example of question? And you can give me an example uh, okay. if you want. Example, you example. Uh, do you want to learn English? Yes, example, no. Yes, that's an example, but I'm asking for the answer for this type of questions. Teacher? When the Teacher, hello. See, sí, okay. When you. when people ask, uh, for example, do you speak English? The answer is yes, I do. Oh, yes, no, I don't. This is no yes okay. question. Okay, very good, ah, excellent. Okay. That's good. But in the case of the verb to be, what is the correct uh, structure? of these type of answers. Can you give me that uh, structure? Teacher? The structure okay. of the question or the answer? In the answer of uh, the interrogative form using the verb to mm. be. The because... interrogative, yes, uh -huh. yes, I understand. For example, are you a teacher? And the answer is, yes, I am. If the answer is negative, no, I'm not. Exactly. exactly. But you are missing just something. Okay, because uh, if we answer in that way, we must include uh, the, the, the specific part that relate that answer to the question. You say, are you a teacher? Okay, the answer must be like, yeah, yes, 
I am a teacher. Okay, that's I that's what, what we have to include. Yeah. Yes, I am a teacher, or no, I am not okay. a, teacher. a teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. So, uh, guys, um, if you don't have any other question, uh, that's all for tonight. We, yeah. Oh, so I and I have to apologize, guys, because um, I don't know what happened to my computer because it's not working right now. It's, it crashed, and uh, I hope to solve it for this coming Monday. And, and believe me, I I really apologize for this because this. Uh, I didn't expect this, okay, guys? Yeah. Uh, and sorry, sorry for it. Uh, I will try to solve it as soon as possible. And I hope for that for this coming uh, Monday, everything will be okay. Okay? Okay. okay. Don't worry, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you Monday, teacher. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, have a nice night, guys, and blessings for all of you. Okay, I God will see you, you this coming month. God bless you to you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. See you Monday. See God you bless Monday. You. Bye. Good, good night. Bye. Good, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. God bless everybody. Bye.